wonderfully well. Today I have programmed for us a nice little relaxing stream. First we're going to look at 31 gifts you should never ever give somebody and we're going to decide if they were actually terrible or just sort of terrible. And then we'll be looking at ghost stories. Yes, more ghost stories from Reddit. We'll read them and decide if they're real, silly, or if they're loved. Let us begin with the gifts. Number one, I'm never ever to give. Exercise gear. It says here there's always that one friend who's obsessed with exercise. Now I am that friend in some circles, not many, but there is one circle where I'm the fit medium. You know, other mediums, don't, do, don't get those gains like I do. Anyway, so it says never ever give because it might be insulting. Now I agree with this sentiment. It is insulting to receive a gift that says, Maybe you need to work out a little more. You know, that's a bit hurtful. So I agree with this, that this is not a good gift to give. What do you think? Exercise gear? Yes or no? I'm going to say ghost no. Never in a million years you should give this as a gift. All right, next. Number two, pets. Now, I don't know who would give somebody a pet in a friend's sense. That sounds insane a little bit to give someone a pet. Like, oh, here's this dead spider. Happy birthday! Or a ghost spider. Now, ghost spiders are very scary because the ghost spider will bite you. You think, oh, it's not going to spin webs, but it does. You know, who do you think puts webs in cribs? Actual spiders? They're not getting any flies in there. No, nothing real. So they are ghost spiders continuing to spin webs long after they're dead. So back to the actual topic at hand in pets. You don't want to give someone a pet, especially if you don't know if they want it, because it's a living thing, it says here. Or a dead thing if you get them a ghost. A lot less work, actually. I highly recommend getting ghost pets, because ghost pets will love you forever. Literally, they will never leave you, much like me. So I would recommend getting someone a ghost pet. If it's a ghost pet, I'm going to give it a medium thumbs up. But if it's a real pet, I'm going to give it a thumbs down. What do you think? Is a pet's good gift or bad gift? I think it's different in a friend setting or a family setting because, you know, your parent or your brothers or sisters or whoever could look after the pet for you. So I don't know if that's as bad as some of the other ones. Next, number three, romance novels. <laughs> now, you can buy my romance novel, The Medium in the Fireplace, a very moving story of a man meeting a ghost for the first time and learning that he's a medium. Now, that... It's a good romance story. I understand other romance stories might not be as good, like The Muffin Man Meets the Gingerbread Woman. That's not a good book, you know? Ghost stories are great. You know that movie with Demi Moore, Ghost? Now that's a great story. If that was a book, you should buy that. Anyway, I can agree that this might be a little confusing, and it might be a little weird if you could grab out the newest romance novel, especially if it's a little too much. You know, there's a little too much ghost action. Ghost on ghost action. That, that could be a lot. All right, I say thumbs down for romance novels. What do you think? Unless they love them. You know, some people love romance novels because their partners don't give them any attention. My girlfriend loves them for some reason. So I'd say if they like them, thumbs up. But you gotta know these people before you buy gifts for them. Not a random romance novel. Oof.